Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I removed the tie rod nuts on my 2013 F-150. This is going to be pretty straightforward, so let's jump right in. This is a 21 millimeter. You might as well remove it all the way with your socket wrench or your impact because it will be too difficult to remove by hand due to the Loctite used from the factory. Once that's out of the way, you can grab a sledgehammer or a regular hammer and start hitting right here. This should technically help break the tie rod free. However, as you can see, my tie rod wanted to be a little difficult. I was hitting it with some decent force too, but the bushing would not break free. I even tried hitting this part of the tie rod, which you should never do as it can twist the rod and cause damage to the bushing. And you also don't want to hit the bottom like this because that could mushroom the end and make it difficult to get that nut back on. So I stopped and decided to try something different. I grabbed some penetrating fluid and sprayed right here where the bushing meets the hub. I also sprayed the threads underneath the knuckle, however, I'm not sure that did a lot. The fluid on top, I believe, was the most helpful. I'm going to let that soak in for a bit, but I want you to take note of the wheel position. Now the wheel is turned the other way as I needed more access to these bolts. But wait, now the tie rod has popped out of place. I believe it popped when I turned the wheel when trying to access that IWE bolt. Let's move on and get that tie rod nut back on. Just grab your tie rod and then maneuver the hub assembly to allow the tie rod end to slot into place, just like that. Make sure you add some thread locker onto the threads too. Then grab your 21 millimeter deep socket and torque this nut down to 85 foot pounds. Let's remove the nut for the outer tie rod. This is a 21 millimeter. Having an impact in this situation helps a ton. You will notice some resistance as the nut gets closer to coming off. Just keep turning. There we go. All right, here comes the fun part. You need to separate the tie rod from the hub. So grab your penetrating fluid and try to spray around the bushing like this, and then spray upwards on the threads. Now let it set for a few minutes and then we can try to free it. All right, so I'm gonna try something that you should never do. I'm going to turn my truck on and turn the steering wheel from side to side in hopes of breaking the tie rod free. You can see right away how dangerous this is. Look how my truck rocked on the jack stand. I did not notice it while sitting in my truck, but after seeing the footage, I won't be doing that again. Of course, this part isn't in the camera's view, but you can see me hitting this part of the hub. This separated it perfectly. So I would advise you do that and do not move the steering wheel back and forth while it's on jack stands unless the whole front end is lifted and in the air. This allows the hub assembly to move freely side to side, which is going to be beneficial if you need to remove the CV axle or the integrated wheel end, otherwise known as IWE. Now you just need to give it a couple of whacks and the tie rod is now completely free. Now we can move on to the tie rod. Go ahead and line it up and push it into place. Okay, so I'm adding a thread locker to this nut, but that's because I did not know these needed to be replaced after taking off, which I had to do later on. So I just wanted to get this on and secure it until I got new ones from Ford. But I wanna make this clear, you do not need to add a thread locker to this nut or the upper controller nut. You do, however, need to replace both. The torque spec for this nut is 85 foot-pounds. That's all there is to it. If you found any part of this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss a video from our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.